assalamu alaikum dear students in this lecture we are going to learn the concept of significant figures before moving to the exercise 3b this is one of the most important concept that we must learn to solve that exercise so i thought we should have a separate video on understanding the concept of significant figures so let us move towards our lecture so first of all we must know what are significant figures significant figures are used to reflect the degree of accuracy a number is more accurate when it is given to a greater number of significant figures there are some rules to determine the numbers of significant numbers the first rule is all non zero digits are significant for example the number 7258 has four significant figures because all these numbers are not having any zero so uh, if we practice in the following part the number 192 has three significant figures 83.76 has four significant figures 3 is one significant figure and 4.5 is also a significant number having two significant figures the second rule is all zeros between non zero digits are significant for example if we are having a number 32.047 we can we have we will count this number 1 2 3 4 and 5 <coughs> this number is containing five digits and all of these digits are significant either it is zero or it is non zero number because zero is in between the other significant digits so therefore in the following parts 506 there are three significant figures 1.099 is having 1 2 3 and 4 significant figures 3.0021 is having five significant figures 70.8001 is also having 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 significant figures in all these parts all the numbers are significant figures because the zero is coming in between the non zero digit so this was the rule number 2 the third rule is that in decimal all zeros after a non zero digit are significant i am reading it again in a decimal all zeros after a non zero digits are significant for example if there is 0.10 the first zero is not significant but the second zero because it is coming after a non zero digit it is also a significant number so this 0.10 is having two significant figures similarly 0.500 is having three significant figures because the two zero are coming after a non zero digit in the c part 41.0320 is having 1 2 3 4 5 n six numbers and all of these numbers are significant figures because the first zero is coming in between the non zero digits and the last zero is coming after the decimal so all of the digits are the significant numbers in the d part again 6.090 there are four digits and four of them are significant because the first zero is in between the non zero significant numbers and the last is zero is after the decimal number so as per the rule number 2 and 3 all of the digits are significant numbers the fourth and the last rule to determine a number either it is a significant or non significant is that in a decimal all zeros before a non zero digit are not significant i'm reading it again in a decimal all zero before a 
नॉन जीरो डिजिट्स आर नॉट सिग्निफिकेंट लाइक जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू वन बिकॉज दिस जीरो इज बिफोर बिफोर द नॉन जीरो डिजिट देर फोर इट इज़ नॉट अ सिग्निफिकेंट नंबर इन दिस केस दे आर ओनली टू सिग्निफिकेंट नंबर टू एंड वन सिमिलरली इन द सेकेंड पार्ट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो थ्री दे आर थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट्स इन द सी पार्ट देर आर अगेन थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स वन सेवन एंड थ्री द जीरो बिफोर द नॉन सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट्स आर नॉन सिग्निफिकेंट एंड इन द डी पार्ट जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो नाइन जीरो अगेन वी आर हैविंग फोर सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट्स The fifth rule to determine a number either it is a significant or not is that in whole numbers the zero at the end may or may not be significant. It depends on how the numbers are approximated. Like for example, if we are having a number seven thousand four hundred ninety eight, and we are rounding off to the hundred, so. when we round it off to the 100 we will see that unit 10 100 so this is this will become 7 5 0 and if we correct it to the nearest 10 so unit 10 so it's mean it will become 7 4 again it is 5 and 0 0 so in this case the two numbers are the same but the last two digits it depends that we consider them as significant or not significant that it depends that how these numbers are rounded off so these are the all rules to determine either it is a num- either the, there are how many numbers which are significant digit in a number so i hope you would have understand the concept uh, thanks for watching uh, please like this video and keep connected fast digital academy for more videos to coming thanks for watching allah hafiz